So, my goodness me, what an upset that was. The two-time defending champions, Gideon and Sukumolio, uh, losing out to Lua Cheng and Zhang Nang in three absolutely thrilling games. And it means that uh, men's doubles defending champions for a fourth time now since the inception of the Super Series and now the World Tour, defending champions have lost in the very first round. So that makes it the most perfect prophylic uh, event as far as defending champions are concerned. Well, next match is men's singles and we're going to have a look at a British interest. Rajiv Usif is up against Tommy Sugiato, but look what's happened already. Chia Tian Chen, the number three seed, has lost to last year's semi-finalist Wang Yuxian in three games. In fact, he had two match point opportunities, but went down. So in this section of the draw, here a world championship <coughs> bronze medalist, Tommy Sugiato, won his bronze medal at the world championships in Copenhagen five years ago. Raji Fusif, the British number one. Well, he's been a quarter finalist here at the All England Red. Championships Conscious. once previously. Uh, that was back in 2015 when he lost the show to Zaki. But Rajin Fusif, former European champion. In fact, he's a five time European Championship medalist. A little bit concerning that the 32 year old, born in Hounslow in West London has got very heavy strapping on the back of his right leg there. He has been as high as 10 in the world, as you can see, a total of two weeks at number 10, but uh, currently uh, number 33 in the world. And it has to be said that his world ranking has dipped a little bit, uh, possibly because of family life. He's become a father at the end of last year. September, baby son Zach was born. So, as far as Tommy Sugiato is concerned, two years younger than his opponent, uh, born in Jakarta, and the oldest son of the 1980s star, Ichuk Sugiato. And, of course, Ichuk Sugiato, well known to the man sitting next to me, Morton Frost, because, Morton, you beat him in the final of the 1987 All England Championships. But, of course, for uh, Tommy, how dearly he would love to emulate his father and get all the way through this most prestigious of events in all England. Absolutely, I'm sure that's a very big wish on his behalf. But uh, it's a tall order if you're not uh, seated and not really up there in, in the very top, it's tough. So this, as you can see, is the eighth meeting between these two players. And of the previous seven, Tommy, Tommy Sugiato has won six of them. Uh, last time they met was in the first round of the Denmark 750 event last year. And that match was just 36 minutes for Sugiato's victory against Rajiv Usif. But the one occasion that Usif did win was at the Olympic Games in the first of the knockout stage at the last 16, where he won in three games. And uh, I guess as we look at our court officials uh, for this one, I guess the fact that he's won in a big stage, the Olympic Games, Usif, that should give him encouragement here on the big stage in <laughs> Birmingham? Yeah, I think so, but unfortunately for, for Usif, it's, uh, it's a few years ago. It's two and a half years ago, so a lot of things has changed since. But yes, of course, you can always draw a little bit of confidence from the fact that you have won at the big stage, as you say to your one. Wonderful to have you here again. Good to hear you, Hope. Good to hear your voice. <laughs> well, good to be here. <laughs> so, Rajiv Yusuf, certainly with his work cut out. It should be mentioned that he reached two finals last year. The European Championships, where, of course, he was the defending European champion. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Rajiv Usuf, England.
and on my left, Tommy Sugiarto, Indonesia. Rajiv Usuf to serve. Love all. Play. Well, there's no question that Rajiv Usuf will have the support of the home Service fans. Service over. My goodness me, what a servant One, he love. has been to English badminton. Making his 16th consecutive appearance here at the All England Championships. Goes back in 2004 when he lost in the qualifying event. That takes us back when we used to have qualifying. Yeah, that's a few years ago now. Whoops. Oh, goodness me. Oh, no, it's it's over. Now, Morton, these two players, I sense One that they have a similar more. sort of style. They're both runners, and neither of them have what we see in other players, like the injection of pace, but they're very steady and very consistent. Exactly, they're very, very steady in what they're doing, and uh, they, they make use of the full court. They haven't got the big tower smash, and you can see that even Sukiyata found it difficult to kill so this over. one. But uh, Usev has actually got a Two, nice attack yeah. from his around-the-head situation down the line. It's actually really nice. So I'm sure we will see that. Service over. Two, all. And that one is going long at the back line. Service over. Three, two. Oh. This oh, time, that, yeah. that was around the head, but this time cross court, he'd be this up time. on our toes. <laughs> Three, <laughs> oh. Means he's got options, which is nice. It's always good to have a variation on it. But I, I remember when he was playing uh, some years ago, when he was playing, let's say, Peter Gade, that was troubling Peter quite a lot when they, he was playing that smash down the line from the around the head situation. Service so it's over. a good one he's got. Four, three. Yes, yeah, that's well taken. Service over. It's interesting that you mentioned the round the head shot, Morton, because I always Four. think that oh. it's a gauge of how well this man is playing by how early he's taking it in the deep forehand corner. If he's really reaching up high, I think that's an indication oh. that he's playing well. It Service is, and over. I even think, you know, just been watching these four, five, five eight points Four. we've seen so far, I actually think both of the players are showing urgency. They're playing fast, they're playing as fast as they can, and uh, they're Service not really over. holding back on anything. Five, all. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's Six, really two or three five. from the front court era. Yeah, he's oh. really catching Sugiato on that one there. Yeah. Oh. Service over. So I can tell you, Joel, that uh, oh. I have arrived a little bit earlier than you today, and this is the first day. Seems like there is a small drift coming this way, which means that Usef is playing slightly with the drift. Yes, I thought that. I was just catching a glimpse of that fantastic men's doubles the previous match, and I thought that uh, there may be a little bit of a drift. It's not a lot. Six. Yeah. Just wide. Service Had a pretty over. good year last year, did uh, Sugiyato, who's now an Six. independent player. He's left PDSI, the National Federation in Indonesia. It's 
three finals from 18, 19 points, won the Thai Masters Eight, Super six. 300, and it's the final of the Thai Open. So obviously likes playing in Thailand. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, he had a very good run sort of mid at last year where he beat uh, two top ten players. So um, that was uh, a good performance from him. He beat uh, Xi Yuqi at the uh, Malaysia Open and uh, Cho Chen Chen in the Indonesian Open. This is good rally. Oh, that's super. My goodness me. Over. Has to be said that the clear from Usif was just a little bit short, but how well Seven, he put that away. Eight. Look at this. That's fabulous. Almost a new aspect of his game, Usif, the way he's Nine, really seven. hunting the shuttle at the net. Of the he's trying to be a lot, lot more proactive at the first one third of the court, which is quite unusual for him. So it's a nice variation, it's a good add on to his game. Yeah. Service over. But I think the irony Eight. is that both of these two players, they actually think they have a good draw. You, yeah, you know when you look at it, you, you could have played so many other players in this draw. So I, I think it's a little bit of an irony that they both Nine. eyeing a good oh. chance to get to the second round. Yeah, and of course, one UCL awaits the winner of this match. <laughs> oh, did his fingers go there? It sounded a bit like it. it sounded. Oh, oh didn't it? Yeah, well, I think it's okay. Okay. Otherwise, it wouldn't. This one is gone. Yes. And Sugiyato needing to change mm. his racket. Yeah, it's good placement, isn't it? Towards the right hip. Yeah, very mm. awkward. Two and nine. And that's what you normally see when you have players as tall as, as you said. Normally they are quite poor when it comes to defending around their body. They're good reaching out to the sides, but when Ten, it comes to the body defence, it's a little bit more difficult for them. Yeah. But Usif is not bad in yeah. that respect. Six foot three. That's the oh, one. Yes. That's, That's the, the one. one you were talking about. That's the one. Ten. I wonder, oh. English coaches, Peter Jeffrey and Graham Hurrell. Pleased with that, that was perfection. Oh, yes, service over. Took a bit of pace off 11, it, 10, going for placement ball. rather than power, and it means that Tommy Sugiato has the one point advantage here at the mid game interval in the opening game. Only eight minutes played. But a good start, I think, for, to the match, Morton. Yes, interesting start. As I mentioned earlier, I really find that the, the pace is nice. Well, I didn't catch all of that, Morton, but uh, I certainly heard him say, don't feel you've got to force it the whole time. Yeah, but that's, that's good advice. You know, you, you never play panic. You always be patient, 11, wait for 10. your proper opportunities. And Play. we saw earlier today that uh, PV Sindhu was really taking too many chances and eventually she lost it. Yeah. yeah another big shock. Oh, he was waiting for that. 
But that's standard procedure these days. All players are anticipating that one. Clever. Oh, my goodness, he's got it back. What a rally. This was a killer. What a rally. <laughs> my goodness, that final Whoa. net shot from Sugiato landed, I think, just inside the line. This is the one. Yep, Definitely. indeed. What a good shot. But that rally really personifying what we were saying, that both of them are very good around the courts. They're both runners. And it's very, very difficult, actually, to find the gaps. Yeah, they, they cover the court really well. And um, 12, I promised 10. myself I'm never going to say again this is a slow hole because all the holes that we're in, all the stadiums that we're in, all the arenas we're in are slow. So, you know, I've decided we're never going to mention it again <laughs> unless we're in a, in, a, in a fast hole. Then we will say, OK, this is slightly faster than before because slow is just normal. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't really on balance when he played that one. He said. Yeah, we said really have to watch out. It's a very important point for him now. Mm. That's four straight points now, isn't it? And I wonder if this is the decisive move in the open game. There's more intensity in that round, wasn't there? There's a lot 15, of intensity, intensity, and you can see it with all the flat exchanges and how they move each other from side to side and all that, trying to find that gap the whole time. And there was good intensity, as you say. Five straight points. Was that just mistimed or was that a little bit lazy taking that back on there? 16, 10. I actually thought it was a little bit a sign of desperation. Mm. You know, that he cannot find the gaps, he cannot yeah. find any way to set up his attack. And you know, okay, I tried this one, didn't work out either. A little bit 17, desperation. 10. Yeah. Seven straight points now. One oh. left. My goodness 18, me, what on earth 10. has happened here to Usif? Oh, that's good. Service over. Breaks the run of points, but my goodness me, those eight straight points from Sugiato have put a very, very different complexion on this opening game. Oh my word. Service over. Oh, that's 19. Just delightful. 11. Look how tight this is to the net. That's just amazing. And just long. Service over. 12. 19. 
going to join silver. top opportunities. Eight of 20, them, to be precise. Service over. He's been uh, placing 30, the shuttle 20. an awful lot down to the deep forehand corner of Sugiyata. Yeah, well, I think it's, it's actually a good strategy. It just needs to um, be patient about it and, and really wait and wait and wait. Because what happens uh, when he lost the uh, seven, eight points in a row? He lost the patience. And, uh, you know, playing like Usuf is playing, you cannot afford that. No. Well, there's a challenge here, and if Sugiato is correct on the challenge, it's game over. I'm not sure if he thought it was long or whether he thought it was wide. I thought it was wide, obviously, but it wasn't. Challenge. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 14, 20. Play. down the forehand again. Yeah. Well played, Usyk. Fifteen, twenty. Yeah, but it's uh, a little bit too late, I think. And uh, it's all about trying to find the right strategy for the second game what has worked and what hasn't worked, and then really try to implement that in the second game. But another four remain. Yeah, interesting that uh, Sugiato so far has opted to play quite safe to try to get the point. But I anticipate that he will go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and so he did. Game. 21 16. The uh, opening game. In game favor of this man, Tommy Sugiato. A little over 17 minutes for game number one. Seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, interesting there. Peter Jeffrey thought that it was that long, long, grueling rally that changed the whole outlook of that opening game. He said from there, you seem to lose your rhythm. And losing your rhythm is a bit like losing your patience, which is what you were talking about. Yeah, I think he probably felt the strain a bit and then thought, OK, I have to try Second to find game. answers and... Uh, Love all. Impatient. Play. Oh, lucky net court there from Sugiyato. One low. Well, I think you have to give it to Sugiyato. He's played mm. a solid game today. The first game here has been really good, considering it's the first match when you, you know, play here in, in Birmingham at the All England. It's not easy to play the first round. No. It's not, but that said, this is his 11th appearance here in Birmingham. But it's not an event that he's excelled at. When you think of all that Sugiato has achieved, former yeah, world number three and two, consistently one. getting through to the latter end of tournaments, he's only been in one quarter final here. Yeah, this has definitely not been one of his best tournaments over the years. And the interesting Service part is, over. it should have been, because the Two. surroundings, everything oh. suits his game. Yeah. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. Oof! Well, he's challenged that. It was called good. Challenges. I think it's oh, on the a side. Wide to yeah, me. on the sideline. But the thing is, there's so many players are overcommitting with that one. As soon as they catch the player in that deep corner, they move up and they're overcommitting. And Usif did the same. Yeah, it's out yeah. on the sideline. And that's Correction. why Sukiyato could get away with that clear and, and get out of trouble. Yeah. It was an overcommitment from two. the Usip side. Play. Service over. Well, when this Three. man uh, reached oh. the quarter-final four years ago here in uh, Birmingham, he became the first Englishman since uh, to reach the quarter-final since the late Anna's Nielsen in 1992. 23-year gap between English quarter-finalists here at this event. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Englishman in a semi-final more Four. in the men's oh. singles here at the All England. Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, well that's taken again. One. Ray Stevens? No, it was after that. Stephen Badley. Stephen Badley. Five. In 1987, Four. 32 years ago. Lost to... He's going to be so upset with me next time I meet he, he him. He will be. Yes. He will be. You better get yourself prepared. <laughs> and who did he lose to in that uh, semi-final? Oh. Tommy Sugiato's father. Oh. Mm. That's Service a funny over. one. And then you went and beat him in the final. Five. I did. Oh. That I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> that I can remember. <laughs> Good attack. Seven. 
six, five. No, I caught needing some attention. Well, if you think it was a long time ago since the last Thank English you. player reached the semi-final of this event, you actually have to go back 81 years to the last time an English player was in the final. And in fact, he won that final. Six, Ralph Nichols. Five. 1938. That was before my time. It doesn't mean that I shouldn't know it, <laughs> but... Uh... Well, we talk an awful lot in tennis about the length of time between Fred Perry winning Wimbledon. It took 77 Service years over. before Andy Murray. Then one in 2013. Oh. Wouldn't it be glorious if we had another <laughs> English winner? What that would do for badminton here yeah, in the that UK. Yeah, that would do a lot. I'm sure they're searching high and low in the uh, talent identification. Mm. Seven, six. <laughs> Service over. Yeah, that's perfect placement. Seven, all. Oh. Yeah. Couldn't have walked over there and placed it any better. <laughs> no. Seven, six. No, missed it. Service over. Well, no. Usif complaining to the umpire Eight. that he felt that oh. Sugiato had moved before the serve was struck. So, another look at that. Yeah, it's a tough call. Oof. Well, I think he may have a point there, to be honest. Nine, eight. That's a good spinning net shot there by Sugiato. Challenge on that. Challenge on that. Challenge. It was called good. Sugiato called making his out. second challenge of this second game. First time he was right. Called in. And the line judge got it wrong. I think he's got a good course here as well. You're in a very slightly better position than me to see. Slightly better, but uh, here we go. Not Hawk. so easy. Poor guy will tell us. No. Oh, we caught the line. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. But this arena must be uh, the arena where we sit furthest away from the court. Nine on the whole all. circuit. This is yeah. a massive Play. place. Yeah. But what a beautiful arena it is. It is. And the way it's presented. And kept. Yeah. The way that Badminton England present this event is absolutely fabulous. the one pushed to his deep forehand corner when Usif reaches up and takes this early like that Ten, that's nine. when I think he's playing really well you've got a point definitely that was a good shot Hold, receive off. Oh. Oh, here it comes 11 9 <laughs> 
<laughs> sometimes, well. sometimes it helps to complain, highlight a situation. Well. No, that time I'm not so sure. <laughs> but that's what I say, it's all about psychology, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it does mean that it's three straight points and therefore Raji Fusif a two-point advantage here in the second game. Seconds. Okay. Port one, 20 seconds. It's always very calm the way he talks to his players, Peter Jeffrey. See some coaches getting very animated. 11, 9. Play. Service over. 10, 11. Yeah. That's the one you Service were talking over. about earlier, Morton. Round the head, straight down the line. Once again, you see how well he executes that shot. He's, he's really using his, his height and getting nicely behind it. And it's a very tricky shot to play down the line there. And he's doing it so 12, well. mm. 10. Awfully easy just to drag it wide because your body weight is sort exactly. of falling it's out of court. Falling out of court at yeah. the same time. I kind of so think over. that if Sukiato have to 11, develop 12. on the game now, he's got to try to play smashes with greater urgency. At the moment, it's, it's just smashes for, for the sake of, you know, playing it downwards and all that. There's not a lot of placement in it. There's not a lot of, um, you know, urgency trying to actually kill it. He must try to go for angles and really make it 12, difficult. At the four. moment, Usif is quite comfortable in his defence. Yeah. And Sukiyata is not really doing anything to upset him. Yeah. See that yes. one there? Yeah, straight down that. Of course, right he's it. trying to go for the forehand side, but the... The, the shot is not uh, forceful enough, and that's why it's still quite simple for 13, Yusuf to get 12. it back. But when we saw in the early parts of the first game, he was going for the cross-court smash, he was all the way to the line and all that. We don't see it anymore. No. Why? Why do you think? Why, is he, why would he change a winning tactic? Thank you. I think it's physically more demanding, and, and I think that somehow the brain is trying to persuade him 13, to say you know 12. I can I can survive easier and but you can't no that's the whole trick you cannot you have to work a hundred percent all the time that's good from Sugiyato that yeah. one took it earlier and a yeah. tight spinning net shot he really used some energy getting there early yeah 14 but uh, on the on the smashing front I mean he has to go for placement and angles because yes. I don't wish to sound harsh or rude, but he hasn't got the hardest smash in the world, so it's got to be placement. Absolutely, I think you know if we if we really go back in in his in his career, I would say that one of the so reasons the why he never really made it all the way to the top 13, is the fact that 14. he hasn't got that really powerful smash. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. Mind you, we are being very harsh because to be number three in the world rankings, you know, but he hasn't won that big major tournament. In fact, he's only won one Super Series and that was Singapore Open. That was six years ago. And as far as the World Tour is concerned, he won a 300 tournament, event, yes. which was equivalent to the old Grand Prix Golds. Yes. Oh, my goodness, came lucky. off the frame. <laughs> lucky on that one. 
good rally. See, it, make, it makes no difference a smash like that. Oh, well played. Well played from England's number one, Araji Fusif. Oh yes, well taken. There it is again. And it can turn out to be the difference in this match that Sukiyato suddenly cannot 15, kill and score. 14. And Usif, when given the opportunity, as what we saw here, reaching it early, as you say, on that forehand side and play down the line, that could be the difference. He can hit winners. He can hit winners. Oh, that's it. That's what I would like to see from Sukiyato. Really going for it down the line, he could follow up on that one. It was not necessary this time, but that's a good shot. Oh, that's landed in the corner. That's a great placement again. Oh, oh, well, there's was a challenge. He's only got one challenge left in this second game, so he's wrong. He's got no challenges remaining. I thought that landed in, I have to say. Yeah, he looked in. Here we go. Hawkeye will tell us for sure. Yeah. And it's not a nice situation to be in. Should it go to setting, no should it really remaining. get tight at yeah. the end and so you have no over. challenges left? We Always show... have one left. Yeah, I agree. But you're showing your age 16, 15. with setting. Play. <laughs> It is setting, <laughs> 22, yeah. 23, yes. you know, yeah. you, you can call it setting, yeah, whatever. Yes, we know what you mean. What, what would you call it? Extra points. Require it. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Now that's so had so more hard. urgency. Exactly. I like that again from Sugiata. Exactly, that's what I meant. He's got to make it off. count. Yeah. Service over. This is a good match. 17 16. what he was doing so well at, 18, in the beginning of 16. the match, in the opening game. Usif really challenging at the front of the court. Mm, service goodness. over. Well, what was he expecting from a, a low <laughs> serve? It was a good return of 18. serve. Got there very early. Oh, my goodness me. I got the big hammer. That was wild. Uh, he was really, really going for it. Not even close. Yeah. Well played. Service over. Moved Sugiato back and net, then powers one down the forehand side, making him move right across the court. I like the little celebration from Usif. I really like that. You know, he was sort of just saying yes. You know, he, I, you, you know, you can feel that he really, really wants this. Yeah. 
It's not often you see any sort of celebration from his very reserved character. Exactly, and that's what I meant. It's, it's nice to see. Yeah. 19-18. Two points away from the second game. Service over. Just long. 19 off. Play. This is crucial. Ah! Oh, my goodness. And an error on the return of serve. Such a crucial 20. point. 19 all. Match point. And gifts. 19. A match point opportunity to Tommy Subiato. That's out. Oh! Two in. really unforced errors at the end of the match from Rajiv Usip. And the English campaign here at the All England Championships in the men's, men's singles is over. Tommy Subiato safely through. 21-16. 21-16. 21-19. Match lasting 41 minutes. And safely through to the second round where he will meet Wang Yuxiang of China. Well, a disappointment for English fans, no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, Sugiato on the crucial points was very solid indeed and one has to say those last two unforced errors from Rajiv Usif nobody be more disappointed about that than him himself Well, what? Well.